physics with electronics. And I'm also with Shane Frederick, also reading physics with electronics. We are presenting today on the topic photocatalytic degradation of monothermal blue dye under a simulated solar light using the lanthanum doping oxide and the reduced graphene oxide. In our society today, there are several kinds of water pollution. But the dye water pollution from the textile industry have not been given much attention to. So our knowledge, with our knowledge in material science, we saw it possible to use the zinc oxide as a photocatalyst in order to degrade these dyes in this water body as a way of making it accessible to the society to have a clean and healthy, safe drinking water. Yeah, so as John said, in our work, we employ the zinc oxide photocatalyst in degrading the dyes. And first of all, we characterize the, 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 the material we did with the FTR and the UV characterization technique. And further or more, initially, as we were testing the efficiency of the zinc oxide, we saw that it was not that efficient. So with our knowledge, as he said, we had, we thought it was we could add the lanthanum and the reduced graphene oxide to improve the efficiency of the zinc oxide photocatalyst. And at the end of the day, we did the addition in several amounts and we had an optimum amount that gave us the best result in degrading these dyes. So in conclusion, we see that our work in general was a success in degrading these dyes from the from the polluted water and we could see that the, the idea and what we did had a great relevance in the society by eliminating dye water pollution. As well as also granting the society access to safe and healthy drinking water. Thank you very much.